Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Friday the 10th of November. The local media headlines today. The process which leads to next year's council tax bills is well underway. We already know that those bills are going up by the maximum possible amount. But what we don't know is precisely which things Cornwall Council is going to cut back on. Will it be things like school buses and housing or will it be the really important stuff like spaceports and military parades? Who's to blame for the housing crisis in Cornwall? Could it be those idiots who sold off all the council houses 40 years ago? Anyway, the man with the job of fixing the crisis reckons it will still be with us for many years to come. And last week's big storm tore down more than 250 trees in Cornwall, as well as blocking roads, closing schools and causing power cuts to more than 10,000 homes. And we're not even halfway through November. Well done to the pilot who reacted quickly enough while trying to land at St Mary's on the Isles of Scilly earlier this year. The BBC reported an air accident investigation report which describes how the pilot managed to abort the landing. The winds were so strong they blew the aircraft 12 metres off the runway just as it touched down. So the pilot took off again, went round for another try and all 15 passengers lived to tell the tale. Pirate FM also covered the budgetary manoeuvrings at County Hall. The Falmouth Packet had a list of places where you might get a parking ticket in Helston. The Cornish Times promotes a charity fundraiser by Liscard's firefighters. And finally Cornwall Live is looking forward to the Christmas lights being switched on in Truro in a couple of weeks. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye bye.